inside the fireplace Looks like where you ought to be In Oklahoma's too rich With American history It's kind of funny how it reminds me Of all those books you used to read And if I stay gone much longer go insane Cause no matter where I go well, I'll just be missing you in a Texas kind of way And I keep seeing you in Houston Down at Matagorda Bay and Up on 6th Street in Austin At the rodeo in Santa Fe on there still what's going on guys uh i'm out here at choke choke canyon state park uh something just really hit this uh this worm he's still on there but uh i've only been out for a few minutes i was just working on the other bait uh i just had night crawlers it's the same dropper rig but he hit it real hard and it's uh oh, it's a little catfish hit this son of a what is this a blue yeah, it is a blue, I think. Yeah, it's a blue catfish. This is my first blue catfish ever. Hit that bottom rig. Hold on, buddy. Let me help you out. Awesome. Yeah, it's a blue. It's a nice little size one. I just... I'll take it right in the corner of the mouth, see? And this makes it for an easy, easy hook removal. Didn't do much to the fish. There you go. Getting started quick today. I like it. There's nobody else here. Uh, it's a Monday morning, so it's. Uh, I didn't really expect too much. He's drumming. You probably just can't hear, but I can feel it. But I'm just using night crawlers. I have a bag of frozen shad thawing out right here. So let's we'll see if anything else wants to hit. But that wasn't even out there for longer than five minutes. That's a pretty blue. So. First blue ever. So let's get this guy back in the water. I'm gonna take a quick picture of him. All right, let's get this release. I don't wanna get a haul. Come here. Future reference, don't release fish like this. I don't wanna get my shoes all wet, but, well, they already are, so I'm actually gonna use the butt of my rod here. Let's get them turned over. Get them pushed into the pushed into the deeper water. You should be able to go any second now. Come on, buddy. You're good. There he goes. Nice. All right, let's keep fishing. Something hit this other one, but it went slack. And then nothing. He's still on there. Maybe. No, he's not. He probably just I just probably got robbed by a perch or something. I think it robbed, but it did get hit by something. Oh, there goes the other one. So something's moving in. Let me sucker out there so I'm just pop the water right there I'm trying to get my bait caster set up so I can throw some top water because it's still early it's about half an hour after sunrise the water's pretty calm so but these things keep going off actually I'm gonna leave the other one since it hasn't it hasn't really done much since that one hit Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for now. All right, well, I haven't had time to really say much about where I'm at, but I'm at a Choke Canyon Reservoir, just outside of Three Rivers, Texas. I'm actually on my way back down to the valley from San Antonio. And uh, I, I figured I'd stop here. Uh, it's a really big reservoir. It's got a big dam, but come to find out the dam is actually, uh, you actually can't come in. 
I knew that was gonna happen. You actually can't go and fish off of it, so or fish by it. This is the closest I can get. So I may try to find another way to get over that way because it's literally right there in front of me, and there's a point right over there which I may try if the bite slows down. Um, they have a lot of species of fish in here, uh, stripers, all kinds of catfish. Um, there's a lot of bait in the water right now. Uh, uh oh, oh, okay, here we go. That was a big hit. Good thing about those circle hooks, you don't really have to worry about missing it, but that's very slack. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that was a catfish. Let's find out. Write down what you think it is. Oh, it's big, it's decent. That's probably a catfish, this is the way it's fighting. Eh, a little bit of wake to it. What are you? It's got good little kicks, but he's real, yeah, it's a catfish. It's another blue. A little bit, was he the same size as the last one? No, he's a little bit smaller. See, man, I'm trying to sit here and do an intro. Yeah, you're messing it up for me. You get my line all slimy too at while you're at it. A little bit smaller than the last guy. But see with those circle hooks, they get them, you don't have to set nothing and you just spin it around, pull them, yank it out, and they're good to go. Man, these blue catfish are real pretty. I think I like them a lot nicer than the channel cats I cat catch in the valley. But yeah. There you go. There's another one in about 30 minutes, too, so far. No keepers, but I'll, I'm not going to keep anything anyways. I don't have any ice or any... I don't, I don't feel like filleting fish today. But all right, let's get this guy back in the water. All right, I'm not going to mess up like I did last time. You're just going to get thrown in. There he goes. Little guy. Maybe there's some big ones hiding out. I got some blood on me. Well, let's get this thing back out there and keep fishing. All right, so as I was saying, I'm gonna check this rod while I was talking before I was interrupted. Um, yeah, this is just Choke, choke, uh, choke Canyon Reservoir outside of three, uh, three Rivers, Texas. Something just stirred, stirred up the water over there. But uh, yeah, it's a really big reservoir. I'm gonna try to make my way to the dam if I can. So I think there's deeper water over there. I'm literally fishing right next to the boat docks over here. So it's not the greatest spot, but I mean, there's fish here, so can't go wrong with it. Oh, there we go again, getting in. That's actually a decent fish. It keeps pulling, I don't know if it's a catfish. Uh, that's a decent fish, he's not fighting like a catfish. There we go. Come on. Probably it's just a catfish, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's another catfish. I kind of just kind of give up at the end of it. Man, did I catch you again? Nah, he's bigger. He's actually bigger than the first one too. Hit that top, that top shad actually. I had just put this shad on not even two minutes ago. Cause some of that shad was, uh, look at that, look at it. This, this guy's heavy. I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm gonna put him back in the water. I'm gonna get a weight on this guy. Cause he's actually pretty, He's all wrapped up in the line, so he's not going anywhere. I'll just keep him in the water. People who don't know, catfish are very resilient when it comes to being out of the water. So they can, him just sitting in the water right there is fine. All right, so instead of driving this through its, its gill plate or anything, I'm gonna literally just hook it to my new fish grips. So let's get this guy up. Come here. It's a good, good, good sized catfish. He's got a fat belly on him. He's all wrapped up. He's getting my line all slimy. Again with those circle hooks, corner of the mouth, perfect. And you just turn them. So this guy, bigger ones have stronger jaws. But there you go, right out, perfect. So let's get a weight on this guy. <clears throat> Come here, bud. You know what? The fish grips are too damn big. So that's not gonna work. All right, bud. Be quick, I promise. Hear him grunting. All 
I know, I know, but let me see how heavy you are. It's all right, calm down. Oh, he's not as heavy as I thought. He's maybe two pounds, pound and a half. All right, buddy. Let's get you back out. He's got a real, real big belly on this one. You can hear him. I don't know if you can. He's grunting. So, all right, man. Get bigger so I can catch you again. There he goes. Yeah, catfish are really hardy, so you never have to worry about. I mean, obviously, you don't want to keep them out of the water for a long time, but a few minutes won't hurt them. Not like a bass or anything else that really can't survive out of the water that long but let me put a piece of shad or actually both shads are gone so that, he hit that shad pretty quick and that worm on the other one's been out there for a long time so i'm going to switch up the shad and see if i can keep hooking up in these things you know i'm not going to complain if i keep getting interrupted by catfish at least i'm catching something so the bait catch is not going to work today with that spoon it's just i need a I probably got to attach that spoon to this to this other rod here if I want to get any distance on it. I'll change it out if I end up moving to that point over there, which I probably will. Honestly, I like it because it juts out a lot further than this part. So uh, and it looks like it may be deeper over there. But um, oh, there we go again. It's like every time I turn the camera on, something wants to say hello. Oh well, no, never mind. Maybe I accidentally kicked the rod. Oh, something hit the, something splashed the water over there. I don't know if you guys can see the ripples. There's been things popping the water. It's all in front of me. I just don't know what they are. And they're sizable fish. You know, you could, I could tell that they're big fish, but there's something did right there too. I don't think it's catfish. I don't know. I, I just can't get, I can't get a lure or a buzz bed out there fast, uh, far enough to find out really. So I'm sure they would probably hit it, but I'd probably have to attach it to this bigger rod. I may try that if this one doesn't catch anything. Well, just when I was talking crap about it, this rod finally catches something. It uh, feels a little, it barely ticked it. I had just sat down. And it was just a little hit, just a real small hit, barely even rang the bell. I sat up and it just, it, it rang just a few times. And that's about it. But it feels, oh, and the other one just went off. Oh, I'm on a double, it's two. Alright, hold on, it's another blue. That's a decent one. Okay, that's another blue. Let me get this other one. This one's still in the water. Okay, come on. Like I said, those circle hooks are game changers. Hopefully he stayed on. Oh, I don't know if he did. Oh yeah, he's still on there. There's a lot of bait fish over there, so. Or did he not? Ah, oh, he didn't stay on. Oh well, at least I got one. That was almost a good double. Well, they're hitting that shad, so I'm glad I bought some. Let's look at this guy. This is a decent, uh, decent blue. It's about the same size. They're all about the same size. What I've noticed about these blues, oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Well, you guys are gonna get a lesson in uh, how to ungut hook a catfish, hopefully. Ah, these suckers got some strong mouths. All right, so that's why I got these alligator grips for a reason. Um, let me find them. All right, so the hook got out successfully. I didn't want to show it just because I don't know how YouTube would handle that, but uh, he's all good, he's kicking. Um, it was just down there in its throat. He didn't actually get gut hooked, so there goes that. Let's get him back in the water. I don't want to waste any more time with this guy. Go for it. It's right there. Oh, is he not gonna make it? Oh, there he goes, he's kicking off. Okay. Hey, get out of here, B. There he goes, he's kicking off. Oh, got another head on this bigger rod. Seems heavy. Another catfish. 
ring him on in before. Yeah, a little guy. Right in the corner of the mouth. You hear him, hear him grunting. Oh, there goes the other one. Oh, it's not like he forded. All right, man. There's another one. I'm not going to worry about him. See ya. You going to take it again or no? Nope. All right. Slowed down for a little bit, but then both rods started going off. This one kept, so this guy's hooked for sure. That is, uh, blue. What are you, bud? Oh, yeah, it's another blue. We have six blues today. Nice. Corner of the mouth. Can't go wrong with that. That was a good size one. Ooh. There we go. Get some off here. Good looking blue. This one's a little bit. Not as fat as the other ones, but I'll take it. Yeah. He he can't hear him, but he he drums. You can hear him chirping, but he also drums, and he's got a real real solid vibration to him in my hand. It's pretty cool. I never, I never knew these guys did that. All right, let's get a good release on this guy. I'm just gonna chuck him out in the deeper water. There you go, swimming off. Kind of see his tail still. All right, let's get back out there. All right, now we hooked him this time. Another blue. Oh, did he come off? Oh, he came off right there. Oh, lucky you. He must have just barely hooked. That's all right, I'll get him. He's a little bit heavier than the other ones. Still another blue catfish, I can see him. Is he my biggest one? I think he is. Yeah, he is the biggest one I've caught today. Hey, man. Heck yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's a big one. Biggest one of the day. For sure. It's probably two pounds, maybe. I'm gonna take a quick picture of him and I'll let him out. Okay, into the deeper water you go, bud. That's a, he's a legal catfish for sure, but I'm not keeping anything. Don't scratch me. There he goes. All right. I think I'm only gonna fish for a few more minutes because I gotta head out here. But up, uh, seven catfish, I think it's seven, maybe. Seven catfish in about two hours, two and a half hours, I can't, can't complain with that. So, got another one on the same rod. 
I was about to pull up the, the other rod and check it, but ooh, okay. Loosen the drag on it, I forgot. Ooh, this one feels a little heavier, unless he got caught in the weeds, which he probably did. Another blue. They don't have a lot of fight in them. Channel cats at least have a little bit of a head shake. These guys don't really do much. Smaller guy. It's number eight, I think, today. Eight in about two and a half hours. Maybe that's why he got all tangled up. This is why you don't spin, my man. There we go. Now how the hell did you do this? Yeah, whatever. All right. Number eight. I'm not gonna take a picture of him, little guy. All right, man, back you go. Water's definitely getting deeper. I think that I, if there is a tide, I don't even, I'm not really too familiar with that. But it's definitely got a little bit deeper and there has been some waves lately. So I'm almost out of bait. Uh, a few more minutes and I'm gonna head out of here. Okay, the way I'm just hooking these shad, right behind the gill plate, bring it back through, and just wherever the hook's gonna go. That way, it's hooked twice because these things will fall off. They're very soft once they thaw out. So you gotta hook them twice, otherwise they will come off whenever you're casting. So just a heads up. Man, what the heck are these birds doing? I wonder if there's a school of bait fish coming this way. Cause they're just, they keep coming this way. Well, that crane's following something too. I don't know what's going on. All I know is they're probably gonna just get tangled in my line. Which I hope that doesn't happen. All right, I hadn't even had a chance to put the rod down and something hit this stuff, hit the shad on the way down. So, and it feels a little bit bigger. I was literally just trying to tighten the line so I can set it down and something nailed it. Probably another blue, but yeah, it's another blue. I don't cross in my own line. I have a feeling I'm going to. Yeah. Or no. I'm good. Man, this guy hit it. This guy hit it as soon as it hit the water. but don't kick help me out here perfect hook set comes out like butter another good size one awesome thanks for the fun bud oh man I think this one's hooked for sure. There he is. Yep, got him. Yeah, I got you this time. You're gonna be my last one for the day. Let's keep him up so he doesn't spin too much. Little guy. This is number nine, I think. Nine or ten. Let's just bring you straight up over here. Barely, just barely hooked. That's why they're getting me. They're just barely, barely eating that bait. They're just barely eating that bait. Get out of here, B. 
See, look at that. This is barely hooked. Right under the skin. Excuse me, bud. Come on, hook. There we go. All right. Thanks, man. I think it's either 9 or 10. But 9 or 10 blue catfish, that's a good day. I'll take it. And he's out of there. All right, guys. Well, then we'll call it for today. I'm out of bait. And I'm out of time, really. So I'm going to get packed up. I'm going to head out. Thank you. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And, guys, we hit 25 subscribers. As of today of me making this video, we hit 25 subscribers. That is awesome. Last time I mentioned it, I wanted to get to 20. We blew that out of the water and hit 25. So I think the goal is now, every time I have to mention it, we're going to try to get to double whatever we're at. So let's hit, let's push it to 50. Uh, if we hit 50, I'm going to have something uh, I can do. You guys can figure out, put, let me know in the comments what you want me to do for our 50th subscriber special or something. Um, anything you want outdoors wise fishing camping hunting it's up to you guys just let me know and i can see if i can figure something out but thanks for watching appreciate it my 25 my 25 subscribers you guys are awesome as always and i will see you guys next time